Hello, thank you for joining me, Kate Richter, with 7 Minutes of Seed. I'm coming to you from rootbible.com, where you can check us out and everything that we offer there. It is an awesome place to be. Soon, we will be launching our new semester, The Real you. That's for every age. If you can imagine the age, there's a class for that age. And this class is going to be awesome. You don't want to miss it. And you can register free. Why wouldn't you? Live classes, right? And please subscribe to the podcast. This seven minutes of seed, everyone has time for that. Ooh. Everyone has time for seven minutes and getting that seed in there is what produces the harvest. It's what produces the fruit. So you need to get that seed in your heart, in your kid's heart, in your home, in your neighborhood. It's the seed, it's the seed, it's the seed. We're talking about that a little bit today. So let's go ahead and get started as we pick up where we left off. Remember, I'm going from our table talk cards, which are free uh, to download and use when you register at rootbible.com as each semester has them because we want the reality of the word at your table, in your car, before bed, when you wake up. Like this is a normal part of life. Now this is our life. There is no normal life apart from it. Okay. So we're going off that. We're moving on. Let's put seven minutes on the clock and here we go. All right. We are talking about Luke 16, 10. So if you look up Luke 16, 10, this is what you'll find. I'm going from the uh, New Living Translation. We like this translation from 1996. That's when it came out. It's the most pure version to go from as far as an easy read version. I know the ESV can be also, but they've updated it so much. I walk gingerly there. Uh, make sure you research your Bible translations. All right, Luke 16, 10. One who is faithful in very little is also faithful in much. And one who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much. We are talking about, as we end the Handle with Care series this week or semester, we've gone two months on handling the Word of God with care, handling the truth with care, handling lies with care, handling thoughts with care. And that when we say with care, we mean filtered through the Word of God. How do we really help our kids handle their thoughts with care? How do we help our kids handle hearing the voice of God with care? How do we help our kids handle their relationship with the Father with care? Those were all things we talked about in our meetings. The, the youth, the children all talked about how to have a relationship with God and handle it with care, how to hear God's voice and handle it with care, how to combat wrong thinking and handle all thoughts with care. And now we're talking about lies. Now, when I say that, often as a parent, you think, um, did you empty the dishwasher? Yes. Are you lying? Right? Now, this is a big deal. There is no small or big lie. A lie is a lie. But I would like to challenge you one step further. Lying is no longer part of a new identity in Christ. So when um, one who is dishonest in very little will be dishonest in much, that means they're not living out of their new identity in Christ. There is no way to be dishonest and be pulling from that seed of the root of the new creation in Christ. So when we are made new, we are expected to be faithful and handle with care that which we've been given. Otherwise, we will be dishonest and, and, and with very little be dishonest, we'll be dishonest with much, right? Because when we live a little bit from the world, we eventually live a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And the truth or that which is not a lie is the word of God alone. That kind of puts things into perspective, doesn't it? That to be faithful in very little and faithful in much is to be faithful with the one thing that is true, and that is the Word of God. And so if you're going to be dishonest in very little and dishonest in much, you're going to be dishonest with the Word of God. Because the truth is the Word of God. Now, how do we really do that? We do that by, um, if I am... If I'm dishonest with the truth, I can say, I'm not good enough. I 
can't do this. I right. We can start to pick up on things that the world would just say is uh, negative self-talk or a toxic self-image, like man, like ugh, I hate all that stuff. All it is is being dishonest with little. Now, are we going to choose to continue to be dishonest with that very little, or are we going to be faithful with that little? You see, because God didn't say He made you wrong. God didn't say you can't do it. What did He say? He said he made you perfect and he has a good plan for you. What did he say? He put himself inside of you to create you new, a creation this world has never seen, a light on a hill that draws all men. What did he say? He said you can do all things in Christ which strengthens you. You see, to be faithful with little is to take all of those thoughts, the voice of God, to take any little tiny sin that challenges truth, which is the word of God, to prioritize our relationship and be faithful with that little bit as we go, the word and getting to know him, being being faithful in that little. And then, then a little more is revealed and a little more is revealed. Now, when we have revelation, when we know, wait a minute, I'm new in Christ Jesus. You're new in Christ Jesus. You, and it, the word of God says, which is Christ Jesus, you can do all things. Now I'm starting to be faithful with little, right? But now say, uh, someone tells me, hey, you can do faith. You can do all things. This is what the word says. And you're like, mm, I don't believe that. I don't. And you want to just deal and dwell in this area. You're being dishonest with little. Now, I'm not saying those feelings are little, but you're not taking... Um, this little challenge of the truth and and handling it with care. Instead, you're allowing yourself to dwell on that and be dishonest with little because that's not truth. Your feelings are not truth. Your feelings are what you're feeling now, but truth combats feelings, right? Just because you think you can't hear the ver- voice of God doesn't mean that's truth. So are you handling that faithfully, that very that very little nugget of, hey, stop and listen to my voice? Or are you being dishonest about it and just going, I can't hear his voice? And and in that, you're being, you're being dishonest with very little. You're starting at the very beginning of saying, I don't believe salvation is true. I don't believe I'm his sheep and can hear his voice, right? It's, it's so... Now we read this and we want to take it in the world's perspective, right? One who is faithful and very little is also faithful and much. And one who is dishonest and very little is very dis- is dishonest and very much. I challenge you to read that as our life in Christ. Will we, will we encourage our children to be faithful with little? You know, you start with that little um, rebellious look and, and you go, oh no, that's not who God's made you to be before it gets to dishonest in much where it's back talk and and rebellion and and doubting who they are right you take it you you're faithful with very little nope even that um, that is not that's not who God's created you to be you're faithful in little so take every area because what we're faithful to is the truth and the truth is the word of God and then therefore you cannot be dishonest outside um, of the word of God right? He says who we are. We're truthful. We do not lie. We have no malice or foul speaking in us. So um, if we're being dishonest, we're doing those things. We're dishonest to the word of God. And so if we continue to let those little things chip away at us, then we become dishonest in much where the word of God is now of no effect to us because we've chosen our way over it, even though we may be saved. So are we going to be faithful with that little? Every little thing that we catch, be faithful to put it under the word. Start little. What is this little thing? How do we get this under the word? You know, not everything, not like every wave, right? You're not trying to go uh, save your neighborhood and uh, go downtown and feed the homeless and attack your kids. And right. No, you're starting in your home. You're being faithful with little, with my heart, with their hearts, with my spouse's hearts, with our life and how we're living and being honest and faithful with what God's given us in his word and that precious seed he's put inside of us. Or are we being dishonest and living an opposite life of the word, even though we've received salvation? So that was seven minutes of seed from Luke 1610. You can find that on the table talk sheets. Thank you for joining me. And this week, I pray that you will be faithful with little and that you will be faithful with much. And you will encourage your children, your home, your spouse to do the same in the light of Christ, in the light of his goodness. Blessings until we meet again. Thank you again for joining me.